What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you a few Walmart hidden clearance items that I have found and I will be explaining why it's getting harder and harder to find Walmart clearance or Walmart hidden clearance during this time of the year. If this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you can be notified every time I post a new video. If this video was helpful, please give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below of your best finds that you have been able to find during these last couple of weeks. If you're new to the channel, do hashtag new so I could personally thank you for joining this family. But if you're new to this channel and it's your first time here, what I do is I go out and I look and hunt for clearance items from Walmart, from Target, getting the best deals you can at Walgreens. It doesn't always have to be clearance items, but if I can save you money, I will show you how to do it. So my goal is to save you money a lot, a lot of money over time. So if that's what you're into, hit the so subscribe first button. Off, these big cans of tomato puree, tomato sauce, are about half off, so they're ringing them about 50 cents. Normally they are a dollar. If you use this, this is a pretty big can size for you to use, so keep a lookout for these in your store. Half off right now. All right, we also got this seven piece cookware set. It has kind of a turquoise color, so these normally were around $18. The first time they went on clearance, they were there for about 11 bucks. Um, they had quite a few that they were trying to get rid of on clearance. I didn't buy any then. This was the only one that was left and it was ringing up $7. So not a bad price for three pots and one pan. So not the biggest set, but it is only $7 right now in my store. So take a look in your store if you're looking for some new pots and pans. Or if you want to buy them and resell them, you could do that as well. So seven bucks, take a look. All right, so next thing I found, I actually found this at Walmart grocery store, so neighborhood Walmart. I didn't go in there actually to buy, I was going in there to buy foil. I happened to just run by our little clearance rack. That's why you always look when you're in there. You never know what you're gonna find. The guy literally just put these out on the shelf. $2 down from $7.50, $8. It's a big Elmer's glue, one quart. Clear glue, my daughter is super excited. I bought six of these, that's all I could carry with the foil. Of course, I didn't go in there with a the basket because I only needed foil. So I grabbed six of them. I might go back and see if there's any more, but she's gonna make slime with all of this, so she is super excited. So if you have a daughter that makes slime or if you just need large amounts of clear Elmer's glue, this is on sale, two bucks. So, so go take I one. did find these as well, and this is really the last item I found over the last couple of days. Um, these are Keurig pods, so we have a Krispy Kreme, just a regular coffee. Um, this is a Dunkin' Donut, a regular one as well. Nothing special, no special flavor. This Green Mountain, what is it? Some marshmallow, it's like a s'mores flavor. So these are all normally about $10. They're about half off right now, so five bucks. They did have a lot of different flavors as well. Um, a lot of the same ones, but they had a couple different flavors that I just wasn't interested in. Um, but I did buy like two boxes of these each. So um, if you've used Keurig pods and you're interested in buying these, I usually buy mine at Costco, but this wasn't a bad price. So five bucks for about 18 pods each. So that's about 30 cents a pod, not too bad. Um, so take a look in your Walmart. I didn't see them in the Walmart grocery store, but they were just in the regular Walmart. So take a look for these in your store. They're half off right now. All right, so of course, after this little piece, at the end of the video, I will be posting all the items that I didn't personally buy myself, but I did see or might have seen that are on clearance through the Walmart app as well. So I will post these after this little bit of information that I do give you. So you might be wondering if you're going in the stores trying to find Walmart hidden clearance, trying to even find any clearance items right now, you might be wondering why it is getting very, very difficult for you to find these items. So at this time, most of the clearance items that there are are gonna be a lot of the leftover summer items that they have. A lot of them have already been bought in. So majority of stuff like in my store are gonna be like 
the water items for pools for you to go swimming. That's the majority of the stuff I have left and it's just a lot of the same stuff that no one's buying. It is pretty cheap. A lot of them are going for about a dollar. So that's the majority of the stuff in just my for, store. For your information, the two biggest months of clearance items, not saying items don't go on clearance at different times during the year, but these two months are gonna be the biggest items of clearance that go out. So it'll be August and it'll be January. August starts them trying to get rid of all the summer stuff so they could bring in the new winter items, whether it's clothing, the new toys for Christmas, stuff like that. January is going to be when they get rid of their Christmas items and their winter items for clothing so they could bring in all their new items for spring, for Easter, uh, for Valentine's Day. That's when they get all the stuff for that as well and their new like beginning of the year toy lines that they are going to be putting out. And as like well. I said, they do have items that go on clearance during the other months as well but those are going to be the biggest bulk items so that's really when you want to go out there and you want to look for especially toys a lot of the toys go on sale clothes a lot of the winter clothes or summer clothes that's when they're going to have the majority of their clearance items go out for for clearance that's when they fill up the aisles like right now a lot of the clearance aisles are getting filled up with with christmas and halloween and then they'll kind of put them in a smaller section because they don't have as much clearance. But once the Halloween and Christmas stuff, they get rid of it, that goes on clearance. Then they'll bring them some new stuff. And that's kind of the cycle. So August and January is when you need to go out there looking for the most now clearance. Just breaking items. it down to a monthly thing, majority of the items go on clearance at the beginning of the month. Then they go a little lower during the month. But majority of the items that are going to be on clearance just say for... October or they're going to go on clearance early the first week of October and then you might get a price drop like halfway through. So then November, the clearance items for November, a lot of them are going to go on clearance early in November. So that's just kind of a thing for you to look out. Those will be your biggest weeks that you want to go out there and look for these this items. doesn't mean that they won't find any items that have been on clearance in the back or just even from last season or last year. A lot of the times they do find a lot of these items in the wrong places or just back where they have all the freight and then they throw them out on the floor. So you always got to keep a lookout and, and just be looking for different things. Like I showed you the glue earlier that just went on clearance today. So obviously it's not the beginning of the month, but they do have items that periodically go on clearance as well. But your vast majority for the month will be going on clearance in the beginning of the month. So that's just my little bit of information on how Walmart clearance works. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for it. I will be posting the items that I didn't purchase that were on Walmart Hidden Clearance or Walmart Clearance just regular with the right tag on it. But thank you guys for watching. I am so glad and happy that you guys are here watching my videos. And you guys have an awesome night. And then go out there and go hunting for those Walmart Hidden Clearance items.